tonight on the pageant cast, we have Mickey Singleton, Ms. Petite United America 2011, live on the pageant cast. Welcome to the pageant cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Pageant Cast, Episode 331. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Green, Miss Michigan Galaxy International 2012, and you are watching The Pageant Cast, the Internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Kretschmann. Welcome, welcome to The Pageant Cast. So glad that you could all join us. We have a wonderful show for you tonight. Now, we're kind of changing the concept of Pageant Cast Live because, uh, frankly, trying to pull in the video feed and have it sent back out at the same time running a chat room all of that it's a little too much for the computer processor and me as the other computer processor so what we did is we recorded tonight's show to tape and it live it's still live we're going to do very little editing to so you get the feel of it But we are going to have the show out a little bit later than the next day as as we have been doing. But I know you're really going to be happy with the picture quality compared to what we've had a few times in the past. Uh, For for the ladies that we did those with, if you'd like to come on again, we'd be happy to have every single one of you on the show. This past weekend went to the Miss Fond du Lac. Am I shining too much? There about like that there's the program book the miss fond du lac pageant and the miss wisconsin central and miss wisconsin central outstanding team pageants i am busy working on those videos as well we'll have those on the program in the very near future but congratulations to all those beautiful young ladies on their accomplishments in Fond du Lac. Fond du Lac's just a great program, great city in the state of Wisconsin. It was such a thrill to get to go out there. Coming up in two weeks, I will be, uh, or three weeks at the end of this month, I will be in Ottawa, Illinois for the Galaxy Pageants. Illinois and Wisconsin Galaxy Pageants will be held there. I'll be your host the MC, and I couldn't be more excited. My good friend, Stephanie Piller, I almost said Daffaba, Stephanie Piller uh, is the director there and a good, good friend. I'm so glad to uh, go out there. And we're at a great venue in Bridal Elegance, just a a fantastic place. You'll see me talk about it again uh, in future programs. But tonight, tonight's program is all about the United America pageant, which will be traveling to Austin in June for that pageant. I couldn't be more excited if I tried and I've tried, I've tried. So we're, we're going to be talking all about that in tonight's very special pageant cast with Mickey Singleton, Ms. Petite United America 2011. You don't want to see me. You want to see her. So let's get things started tonight on the pageant cast. It's time for another great interview on the TKPN Podcasting Network. Welcome to the pageant cast. We have the beautiful and lovely Mickey Singleton, Ms. Petite United America 2011, in the other room. Hello, Mickey. Hi, Tim. Thanks for having me. It's an honor. I'm so glad to finally get this phone call because we met only briefly at the last United America pageant. That's right. Very briefly, yes. But I've gotten to get to know you in uh, Facebook a little bit. And I'm very frightened because you're quite sarcastic. So I'm, I'm going to need to uh, keep an eye on that uh, throughout tonight's show. Now, where are we calling you tonight? Uh, from North Dallas. North Dallas. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got involved in beauty pageants. In 2005, a physician I work with in an acute care hospital in Texarkana basically came up to me and, and dared me to, to enter uh, and said, you'd be great at this, why don't you try it? And I, I did. 
uh, I ended up, um, out of 52 women, I ended up in the top 10, and that made me mad. I really, really competitive, and I wanted to try again, and I got to know all the ladies and really understand what it, what it means to be uh, in a pageant, the platforms that you represent, and it, I, got, I got hooked. I, I had the pageant bug from 2005. Well, it, it, you know, what's interesting is that's when we started the pageant cast as well. So that's, <laughs> it must be, it, it absolutely must be. Now you said you do, what is it, speech pathology? I do. I'm a medical speech pathologist. Okay. So you deal with people that have lisps or uh, have difficulty speaking in general or, or what is it? Actually, I, I specialize in what's known as dysphagia, which are feeding and swallowing disorders uh, okay. with patients who are afflicted with Parkinson's, cancer, stroke, uh, ALS, uh, and such disorders as that. Okay. Now, what got you interested in that line of work? When I was 14, my grandfather had a stroke, and I remember watching the physical, occupational, and, ther and speech therapist work with him and try to get him back to his prior level of function and just fell in love with the profession. Okay. Now, getting back to pageants, because this is the pageant cast, uh, how did you learn about a Ms. pageant? Because Ms. pageants, there aren't as many of. There aren't as many. Um, I'm actually divorced. I was married before. When I started out in pageants, I was in the Mrs. division. Okay. Started out in another system. Um, I actually competed in the Mrs. Division for this pageant system, United America, um, and unfortunately, um, you know, my, my marriage uh, ended, and, but I wanted to continue competing, and uh, Miss Annette, who's our director, said, why don't you compete in the Ms. Division? It never really dawned on me to, to compete. I'd always been ingrained to uh, compete in the Mrs. Division, and, and that's how I got to be in it, uh, was from the director. All right. And for those of you that are watching, we're not talking Miss, M-I-S-S, we're talking M-S, uh, period, which uh, there, there's a growing trend uh, of these pageants uh, around the country, but you're also in a petite pageant. What is that about? I am. I'm representing uh, women who are 5'6", or shorter. Um, okay. Normally, your pageant uh, girls that compete in your know, like your typical Miss USA, Miss America, they're usually five seven and above. And this actually gives our women who are a little bit on the petite side, such as myself, a chance to compete and and win a crown and, and be able to represent those platforms that are so dear to our hearts. Well, that's great. Now you had an absolutely gorgeous gown at nationals, and we actually put it on the uh, show notes for tonight's uh, program. Tell me all about your gown. Ah, uh, my gown. Um, I'm an eBay uh, fanatic. <laughs> I actually got that gown quite cheaply um, okay. off of eBay. It's a thousand dollar gown, um, a designer dress that I won for $53. <laughs> wow. Yes, I have learned, I'm gonna give my secret away. I have learned that if you really, really like a designer, if you go on to eBay and put in a designer the way it's way the way you think it's spelled, not the way you actually spell it, mm -hmm. a lot of times those misspellings they're not getting hits on those bids, and and you can win some fabulous things. Wow, that is a great tip, and I know there's a lot of people writing that down right now. Uh, Sherry Hill has two L's, but uh, I think people are going to be typing in three or something <laughs> in the near future. Uh, it's, it's so um. Tell me about, you're in Texas, so tell me, what is the pageant culture there in Texas? Well, it's a southern culture. Uh, you know, okay. everybody has this, this preconceived notion, especially about Texas, that we all uh, are cowboys and have tumbleweeds in our backyards and all the women wear the tiaras. And, 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 and you don't? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we, we do when we do appearances, when we're trying to uh, attract uh uh, publicity to our platforms. Um, yeah, uh, it's 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 great living here. We're we're not all we're not all beauty queens and pageant queens, um, uh, but it's wonderful. I don't know. I'm watching GCB, and it kind of looks like that might be going <laughs> on. So, it, tell me about now. You're in Texas, I, uh, Texas, Florida. I, those are probably the two strongest pageant states in the country. So you see a lot more interest in pageants there than you do in, oh, I don't know, Wisconsin. So uh, tell me, what do you think the future for pageants are here in America? You know, I, I, I 
I don't know. That with Texas and Florida, it may be just because uh, there's a strong concentration of women who are really competitive, love to yeah. love to meet new people, and really want to work those platforms and, and get everything noticed. Uh, my, my platform is the American Cancer Society, and that's why I got into it. And hopefully, that's that's what they're that's what they're doing. Um, I know Alabama also. Um, has a strong pageant uh, concentration. Absolutely. Well, it, I can tell you when I look at the stats for my website, if this is the United States, it is the borders of the uh, United States that have all the activity. It's along that eastern coast, goes down the panhandle, comes right. along across into Texas, and then it slides a little bit into California, but that the breadbasket uh, you, I don't get as many downloads. I get a remarkable amount of downloads from uh, the UK, which uh, continues to surprise me. But uh, Texas, Florida, always uh, huge viewers of, of this program. Now, tell me, what's your favorite phase of competition? United America has quite a few different phases. What, what's your favorite? I enjoy, uh, we did, when I when I first started competing with United America, they had an on-stage question. Um, yep. They've kind of phased that out a little bit, and, and they, they continue to grow as a pageant and morph mm -hmm. into different things. Uh, but I really enjoyed that on-stage question where you kind of got caught off guard. They would ask you some interesting questions, and it's really interesting to see what these women can do standing up in front of a room of hundreds of people. Can they think on their feet? Can they be intelligent? Can they speak correctly? Um, and can they come across with an opinion that's, you know, well-formed and well-thought-out? And it's very interesting to see what these women can do. Well, you obviously can. You you have the gift for gab, as uh, we like to say in, in this part of the country. Uh, I'm going to ask you, we're, we're going to have a little bit of fun now. We're going to see about this thinking on your feet uh -oh. thing. I'm going <laughs> to ask you a bunch of questions, and I don't want you to think a whole lot about it. Just tell me the first answer that uh, comes to mind. And, and, and don't worry, we'll we'll erase the tape if you say something too embarrassing. Uh, so here we go. Uh, you warned me not to be sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, try try your best. Uh, I, I, I will tone it down. <laughs> there's no need. There's no need. Uh, okay, Let, here we go. Uh, okay. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is actually The War of the Roses. Okay. <laughs> okay, that tells us more than we really need. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? Uh, the Bachelor. I actually tried out for The Bachelor and made it several rounds into it and got disqualified because I knew one of The Bachelors. <laughs> and, and actually tonight you're missing the uh, season finale. I know, today. I'm missing the season finale I'm... to be with you, Tim. Thank you. The, I have never been more flattered, I have to tell you. Uh, favorite book? Favorite book? Uh Wow, you're going to laugh. Okay. It's actually a children's book. It's called Tuesday by David Wisner. It's a wordless children's book, and I've loved it since I was little. And my daughter loves it as well. It's, it's, it has to do about frogs. You just have to read it. It's great. Okay. Your favorite podcast about beauty pageants? <laughs> of course, Pageant Cast. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> uh, favorite board game? Favorite board game, Scrabble. Scrabble. Okay, so you're a word person. Of course, I'm a speech pathologist. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Favorite band? Ah, uh, probably Train or the Eagles. Okay. Uh, related favorite song? Related favorite song. Oh my goodness, I really like uh, Train's new one, "Marry Me." That's that's kind of that's a, that's a great song. See, I'm not familiar with Train. This is <laughs> I, this is something I need to. <laughs> Write down and check out afterwards. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, one more question. What's your favorite thing to do when you're bored? When I'm bored. Actually, I own a horse. I like to go visit with my horse and groom her, ride her. That's what I do when I'm bored. Okay. Now, do you ride the horse fast? <laughs> I'm learning. I'm oh. learning. Okay. I, I, I had my first horseback riding experience last year. And uh, as as you know, I'm quite elderly, so it was kind of frightening. There, it, I was a team lift project to get into that saddle. There, there was a number of people. I believe at one point they were going to employ a forklift, uh, but they did get me up there, and we were going very, very slowly, and I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> you need my trainer. She makes me do uh, fence jumps. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> that is. <laughs> uh, it, I, so you hike one leg on the fence and you climb over the fence so you can learn how to um, mount and dismount the horse easier. Well, I know how to do that. Lose about 100 pounds. Okay, but anyway, that's my problem. I feel sorry for the poor guys. And then I, I get off the horse who, who I swore was named Hurricane, and they, they just said, okay, buddy, come on. And I'm like, buddy, you mean this horse that terrorized me is named Buddy? I was very frightened. So let's... Uh, a great question that we like to ask people. You've uh, been in pageants since 2005. You probably have found your favorite resources for pageants. Where are some of your favorite publications, websites? Where do you learn about beauty pageants? Where did you learn about United America? You know, I, uh, well, I learned about United America from the Internet and another girl that had competed with me in another pageant system. Okay. Um, my greatest resource is actually the girls who, um, who I've competed with. And if you find somebody and you like a pageant system, you read about their philosophy, their mission, mm -hmm. uh, and you're very excited about it, what you can do is you can go on what's called their Queen's page, just like United America has a Queen page, and you can talk to these women and get advice about it. Uh, asking, asking people who um, have been in before is invaluable. They can, they can tell you the ins and outs, what to do, what not to do, Absolutely. what to expect. That is a fantastic piece of advice, and I think one that a lot of people don't take advantage of when you're in a pageant. Ask the, the other people there, hey, what other pageants are out there? What, what do they do? Uh, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Absolutely. You know, and I tried to prepare for my first one. I read uh, books that are out there, real popular books, um, and it really... It's nice, but it really doesn't prepare you totally for what to expect because it's it's completely different when you get in there. They can teach you the basics, but once you get in there and you start uh, talking to the other contestants and, and get that experience, and then you start competing a little bit more, and you'll know the ins and outs. That's the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Now, tell me, what is the most nerve-wracking part of doing a pageant? Oh... Right before you're about to go on stage and you pray that you don't trip on your dress. <laughs> <laughs> this has never happened to me. Just telling you. Yeah, it's never happened. Has it happened to you? Um, it's not happened to me. I've had a couple of instances where I've had to pull up the front of my dress to make sure I'm not walking on it, but I've never tripped yet. Okay, yet. <laughs> good, good. Now we know what we need to get you to do out at the pageant. Tell us about United America is coming up this summer. Uh, do you remember when it is? I do. It's June 22nd through the 25th. It's held in Austin, Texas. That's our nationals. Mm -hmm. um, and we... Uh, we want girls of all ages from eight, actually age 14 and up. Uh, it doesn't stop in your 20s. doesn't stop in your 30s. We actually have um, a lady division. We have a, a classic division for um, contestants that are 55 and older. Right. Um, it's a fabulous, fabulous pageant system for women basically of all ages except for the little ones. Right, and it, 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 there's also the petite division, which, of course, there you're is. involved in. They, they have a division for whatever you're looking for in a pageant. They have they it out there in United America. And I heard there's some pretty exciting activities planned for us. I, I'm not at liberty to talk about them, but we have some very fun stuff. Now, are you going to be able to be out there the whole time this year? Oh, Mickey? absolutely. This year, I'm going to be there for the whole weekend. Uh, normally, I, I'm there uh, just for the day before and the day of right. the pageant. Um, I'm a single parent, so... This is another reason why I love this pageant. They embrace everything about each individual woman, and really, they help you out. It's wonderful. So it's it's definitely tailored for everyone. Now, as you know, I'm stalking you on Facebook, <laughs> and uh, I see pictures all the time of the appearances that you've been doing this year. Tell me about some of your appearances. Uh, the latest one that I had the pleasure of attending was with... Uh, ladies from another pageant system and one one of another representative from our pageant system we went to uh, Dallas to the Open Your Hearts uh, organization it's called Plan um, it's for disadvantaged children it was wonderful we um, auction, helped auction off uh, autographed jerseys for Charles Haley as well as a football you know and we got to uh, meet a lot of interesting people talk to 
uh, organizers for that particular organization, learned about their philosophy, and of course got to hobnob with a few ex-cowboys, which was wonderful. Man, it was fun. That is so cool. Uh, we're just about out of time. Are there any things that you want to make sure our viewers uh, know about you or your year or your platform uh, having to do with pageants? Actually, I, I support wholeheartedly two uh, separate platforms. I support the American Cancer Society. My mom passed away from multiple myeloma in 2000. I have a strong uh, family history of cancer, and I've also had cancer myself, so it's really dear to my heart that people are aware of the American Cancer Society and support that cause. Also, I have had a few friends that have recently um, helped me realize the March of Dimes is also important, especially the March for Babies. Um, I've had a, a few friends that have, have lost uh, miscarriages and lost babies, and um, I, I'm starting to really, really, that platform is really touching my heart, and I'm, I really want to support that one and get out there and do those walks and raise money for more awareness and research to find out what is going on and why is this happening, because it's, it's happening a lot more than it needs to be. Okay, and if people want you for an appearance, they should contact you through the United America website, right? Absolutely, absolutely. They can contact us through the webmaster. There's also a Queens page that you can click on um, that has all the contact information for each queen, including myself. Well, and who wouldn't want beautiful Mickey Singleton, Ms. Petite United America 2011 at their event? So great to get to talk to you a little bit more, and I look forward to seeing you again in June out in Austin. Absolutely look forward to it. I do too. All right, everybody, that's Mickey Singleton, Ms. Petite United America 2011. Welcome to the United America pageant. The pageant cast is on the road again. We just signed up. We're going to be back at United America 2012. Now, it's a different time of year, folks. It's June 22nd through the 24th. It was in October, now it's in June, but it's same great place. It's in Austin, Texas, and I heard about one of the very special things that we're going to be doing there that's exclusive. The only place in the world you can see what we're going to be doing is in Austin, Texas. You're going to find out that's going to be released with a lot of other information. Check their website. We'd love to see all of you at United America this year. Come on out. The pageant cast will be there for United America 2012 in Austin, Texas in June. That's it. That's it for tonight's pageant cast. We're so excited that you all joined us, and we are so glad that we had beautiful Mickey Singleton join us from Texas, Ms. Petite United America 2011. Thanks again, Mickey. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thanks. All right. Let's do our pageant wave. Good night, everybody. Stay subscribed. And Tierra Dreams. <laughs>